Hi everybody. The physics doors we'll be making today will be able to interact with other physics objects, interact with the player body, and be opened by a physics drag the player can toggle. For reference, this tutorial will be in Godot 4, but should be applicable to Godot 3 without much or any modification. Let's jump right into the follow along section. Okay, here we have a fairly empty scene. All we have is a player character, a floor, and a directional light. Let's make a new scene for our door, call it door, 3D scene. So our door is going to be made of three pieces, uh, a door frame, which will be a static body, a, the door portion, which will be a rigid body for physics, and then a hinge, which will simulate the connection between them. So let's start with a, uh, the door, um, the door physics part it will be rigid body. We're gonna rename this to physics door. Uh, we're going to give it a mesh so we can see it. We're going to call, make it a box mesh. And for the dimensions, we're going to give it one, two, and 0 0.1. Okay, nice thin door. Uh, we're also going to need a collider. So let's click on the mesh, go up here, click on single convex collision sibling. Easy peasy. Next up, the door frame, static body. Um, we're going to uh, need to give it a mesh, of course. A box mesh is what we'll go for, and with the dimensions of 0 0.1, 2, and 0 0.1. Okay, so this will be like a little frame for us. It's the same color, so I'm going to change its color real fast uh, just for my own um, sanity here, so I can see it in comparison to the actual door. Nice darker color, that's fine. Disable snapping by pressing Y. Move it closer. Okay, lovely. And it needs a collision shape, so we'll generate that like this. Okay, next up. Um, we need the hinge. So we'll make, get a hinge 3D joint here. Uh, we will assign uh, the two pieces that it will hinge together by going over here, physics door for A and static body for B. <clears throat> uh, actually, let's rename this to door frame while we're at it. Let's make sure the hinge is still, yep, yeah, okay. So, um, first off, we need to figure out the rotation that the hinge will allow. So this uh, white circle is 360 degree rotation, which is not what we want for a door. So we're going to go into angular limit, hit enable. Okay, now we see we have around half that, but it's on the wrong axis of rotation. So let's hit Y to enable snapping. And we're gonna rotate that um, so that we can rotate uh, around the Y axis. So right now it's 180 degrees, so we could open and close it. Uh, it's a two way door, you could say, um, but I don't really want to do that. I'm going to have it open one way. So I'm gonna go zero for upper and negative uh, 110 degrees. So it's gonna open this way, this way, following that same curve. So this looks good. We're gonna disable snapping by hitting Y and we need to move it uh, in between these two pieces. So just like where a normal door would have a hinge, we're gonna place it right in between these two pieces so it can rotate just like that. Okay, this looks good. We'll save that. Go back into our world. We're going to instantiate our door. And we're gonna move it up. Um, and we're gonna place it, I'm gonna disable snapping again, place it on the ground. Make it a little bit higher than the ground so it doesn't clip. And let will just move it over here in front of us. If you are in Godot 4, you will need to go to the door, uh, physics door collision properties and set the layer to four and the mask through one through four. Um, that should allow you to um, interact with the door normally. So if we hit play now, we can go ahead and bump the door open. Boop, it'll fly open. Uh, if any other rigid bodies were to hit the door from this angle, they would also open the door. So that's working nicely. All that's left is to add the uh, player character interaction to drag the door open without bumping into it. So let's go ahead and do that. Alt F4, head over to your player, wherever they are. Um, so the interaction is going to be player controlled. So the first thing we're going to do is of course add an input mapping for it. So we call it, oh, 
uh, interact will be its name. And I'm going to make it my left click. Uh, oop. You guys can make it whatever you want. Um, it's going to be toggled on and off <clears throat> with left click for me, though. So um, we need to add a couple of things to our player. So here's our player. I'm going to make the mesh invisible for now. Um, we need a raycast to go out and figure out if we're actually clicking on our door. So we'll add a raycast to our camera. And I'm going to set that to 0, uh, negative 2 in the Y. Perfect. And I'm going to rename this to physics raycast. OK. Um, we're also going to need a marker 3D. I know 3D can also do this. Um, and I'm going to place this uh, right around there, just a little bit in front um, of the player character. Uh, I'm going to rename it to interact position. We're doing this, so this is the point um, that we will drag the, the uh, door towards when we move our camera, so it'll be like we're dragging with our hands. So that's looking good. One more thing, go back into our door, into our physics door, we'll click on this, go to node, groups, and we're going to add this to the door group. All right, lovely. Now let's get into the code. So uh, we are going to need um, a new function. <clears throat> I'm going to call this uh, interact with door. Don't mind the errors, it's just Godot 4 being silly. So, um, I'm going to pass for now. We need a couple more variables up here. Uh, these variables are going to be two, uh, two variables is holding object and held object. Is holding object is just a flag, obviously, to tell us if we are holding an object or not. Um, and held object is just the data about the currently held object, which will be the door in this case. Save that, go back to the door. Um, so, first of all, we want to check um, if we are, um, if we're not holding an object, we want to begin holding an object. And how are we going to do that? We're going to raycast out from our physics raycast. We can do that like this. Oops. Okay, we're going to force the raycast to update and get the data. Then we're going to check if it is colliding, like this. We're going to get the collider that it is colliding with in that case. And then uh, we ex definitely want to check that it is actually in the group we defined earlier, the door group. Uh, if it is, then we can update um, our flag to true, because we're going to begin holding this door. and we want to store the object of this collider, which is just the object itself, into held object. Lovely. So that's if we're not holding an object. If we're already holding the door, we want our toggle to let it go. Otherwise, we'll always be holding it, which is not nice. So um, we're going to do else if uh, we are holding the object, then we want to let go. So we're going to set is holding object to false and held object to null. Okay, so this will get us the door's uh, information, but it won't actually move it at all. So in order to do that, we need another function. I'm going to call it maintain uh, interaction. Okay. Um, so we're gonna call this every frame, every physics frame. <clears throat> First, we're going to check that we're actually holding something before we do anything to it. Then we are going to um, get this. It's this long, long thing here. Hold on, you can't actually even see the whole thing. So we need the direction in which to apply uh, the force, the physics force. Um, so what we're going to do is get the uh, origin of the door, which is the held objects, global transform dot origin and the origin of our interact position, that marker we set up earlier. And we're just going to get that direction between them towards the uh, interact position. Uh, we also need to normalize it, or else we'll get some very bad behavior. So we can do that like this. And finally, we want to apply a central force to that door. So the held object, um, 
dot apply central force, the force direction, I just multiplied it by two. That is the strength of the force. Um, so modify it as you will. Okay, these are looking good. Now we need to actually plop them into our physics process function. It's important that it actually ends up there. So um, just like with that input map we set up earlier, I'm going to do this after the moving slide. Uh, if input dot is action just pressed interact, we want to interact with door. So we're gonna get that door's information or see if it's even there. Uh, otherwise, well, at all times, we want to maintain the interactions of items that we have already touched. So uh, let's go ahead and make sure that this is working. Okay. All right, so it's not, but that's probably because the ray cast needs to have an updated collision mask. Okay, lovely. And it opens and we can let go. See, not, not dragging it. We can drag it open. We can drag it closed. It's looking good. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks.